Good afternoon. We're coming on the air with breaking news from the Supreme Court about former President Donald Trump. The court just said they are taking up Mr. Trump's request to hear whether or not he is immune from prosecution. This will temporarily stop the federal election interference case against him from going to trial. It comes after an appeals court in Washington rejected Mr. Trump's broad claim of immunity from criminal charges, specifically for his actions leading up to the January 6th attack on on the Capitol. Senior legal correspondent Laura Jarrett is with me. Laura, walk us through what this ruling means. Okay, so let's talk about how we got here, Lester. The former president had tried to go to the Supreme Court to ask for a pause, to slow everything down so that this election interference case, the one in D.C., about the steps that he took leading up to January 2nd, January 6th, I should say, could be completely paused. He didn't want that D.C. Circuit decision to go into effect, which said that he was not immune from prosecution. Instead, the court did not do exactly what the former president president wanted. He wanted a complete pause. Instead, they've decided to grab the issue for themselves and agree to hear the case on an expedited basis. Now, they're going to hear it on April 22nd. You might not say that that's particularly fast, but for the Supreme Court, that is fast. And this is what the special counsel, Jack Smith, had wanted. Knowing that this issue was sort of looming out there, he wanted the high court to rule to give a definitive answer so that you wouldn't have a situation where you would go all the way through trial and one court would say he is immune and one court would say he's not immune. I mean, they wanted the Supreme Court to rule on it right away because it's an issue that could make or break their case. But does, it, does yeah. this bind the court, however, to, to once they begin hearing this case, to make a decision within a finite period of time? No. Then at that point, they can make a decision whenever they want. I would imagine they'll still expedite it and they'll rule relatively quickly, but they are not under any time frame whatsoever. They can take as long as they want. They could issue it in the summertime. And so that's the reason. But for Mr. Trump, in some ways, this is a win because it slows things down. Remember, this trial was get to begin in March. That's not nearly going to be a possibility. The special counsel had hoped that the Supreme Court would take it up even faster and perhaps resolve it because, of course, the special counsel needs this resolved. His job depends on this being resolved. Would this decision by the court when, when they make it apply beyond just this one, beyond the January 6th case? Potentially. And I think that might be why the Supreme Court is taking it up in this way. He has raised the issue of being immune, not only in this case in Washington, D.C., but also in Florida and in New York. And it could keep coming up. If the Supreme Court hadn't resolved it and taken the issue up on the merits itself, he could have keep, he could keep raising, raising this issue in a variety of different contexts. And so now we'll have a final answer. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.